Hi and welcome to my video series of Mole Bio Explained in 3 minutes, where I explain a concept in mole biology in less than 3 minutes. If you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, hit that subscribe button. Today we will talk about the use of alkaline phosphatase and polynucleotide kinase in molecular biology. Both alkaline phosphatase and polynucleotide kinase are super useful tools in case of cloning. So if we remember the cloning workflow, sometimes what happens is while we digest the vector, even the insert is present and the insert could be possibly inserted into the vector, there could be all also a possibility of self-ligation. So the self-ligated plasmid is a big problem. So if you keep the plasmid for long, there could be self-ligation of the plasmid. Now what happens is when you cut the restriction, cut the plasmid with restriction enzyme, there are ends with phosphate and hydroxyl, but this can re-ligate to each other if they are not dephosphorylated. In order to prevent the re-ligation or self-ligation, these ends can be dephosphorylated using the enzyme alkaline phosphatase. As a result, at the end, you would have only hydroxyl group, and these cannot re-ligate to each other, and this prevent the probability of re-ligation and increase the efficiency of cloning, especially when we are using PCR products as an insert, it is not ligate, it is not phosphorylated at the end. In order to phosphorylate that, we can use polynucleotide kinase to phosphorylate the ends of the PCR product, thereby dephosphorylating the vector and phosphorylating the insert increase the efficiency of the cloning. Now, end labeling can and end labeling could be achieved by the usage of alkaline phosphatase and PNK in combination. So, let us look at it. Let's say this is a DNA and we want to label the end of this DNA. So, we know the 5' prime end there would be phosphate group. So, what we can do is first use alkaline phosphatase to cleave off those 5' prime phosphate and add hydroxyl group into that but now we would rephosphorylate it with the help of polynucleotide kinase a polynucleotide kinase would add phosphate group now in the solution while using polynucleotide kinase we can give p32 labeled phosphate groups as a result the end of these dna fragments would be labeled as labeled by phosphor radioactive phosphor phosphorus now once it is labeled i mean it can so when we provide radio labeled nucleotide radio labeled atp polynucleotide kinase incorporate the radio label into the uh, phosphate group and put it in the 5 prime end and this strategy could be used in case of southern blotting and in situ hybridization etc so alkaline phosphatase and t4 polynucleotide kinase both are really important tool in molecular biology i hope you enjoyed this video if you like this video give it a quick thumbs up don't forget to like share and subscribe thank you